Rasulo Amma ba'du fa'uzu billahi minash shaitanir rajim Bismillahir rahmanir rahim Yuridu na yutfiu nur allahi bi afwahihim wa ya'ballahu illa an yutimma nurahu walau karihal kafirun huwa allazi arsala rasulahu bil huda wa din al haqq li yuzhirahu ala din kulli ala din kullihi walau karihal mushrikun respected chairperson my dear brothers and sisters assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh wa alaikum assalam as you have heard the topic of my speech is future of mankind i begin with a powerful message of our beloved promised messiah alayhi salatu wasalam the promised messiah alayhi salatu wasalam said people of the world may be inclined to think that it is christianity which may ultimately spread throughout the world or it may be buddhism which will prevail in the end but they are certainly wrong in these conjectures remember that nothing happens on this earth unless it has been so willed in heaven and it is the god of the heaven who revealed to me that ultimately it will be the religion of islam which will conquer the heart of people it will be the religion of islam which will conquer the hearts of people this is taken from ruhani khazain volume 21 page 427 <coughs> dear audience quranic verses i recited in the beginning promise a glorious future in which ahmadiyya in ahmadiyya movements will triumph over all the world's religion i read the translation of these verses they desire to extinguish the light of allah with their mouths but allah will permit nothing except that he will perfect his light though the disbeliever may dislike it he it is who sent his messenger with guidance and the religion of truth that he may make it prevail over every other religion even though that idolaters may dislike it surah tauba verse 32 and 33 in five volume commentary while explaining these verses hazrat muslim auz razi allah taala anhu said that the promise that god would make islam prevail over every other religion stands for all time the promise was fulfilled when it in its early history islam triumphed over all peoples including christians and jews the fulfillment of this promise is going to be repeated in the present age when god has raised the promised messiah alayhi salatu wasalam the holy founder of the ahmadiyya movement to serve and help the cause of islam this triumph is going to be complete and permanent Azur said this triumph is going to be complete and permanent in fact most commentators agree that the final and perfect fulfillment of this promise as made in the present verse is to take place at the time of second advent of jesus in latter days dear audience today as we navigate the complexity of our world it has become increasingly evident that we are living in what many prophetic traditions and scriptures describe as the latter days or end times now let us see what the holy quran says about latter days surah al zilzal and surah al takwir paint a clear picture of the days we are living in surah al takwir speaks of the great changes and new inventions of latter days that have already taken place and we have all witnessed them if we read the surah we find that after mentioning a sequence of prophecies about extra ordinary developments at present days allah warns in verse 13 wa izal jahim su'irat 
<clears throat> and when the hell will be made to rage, here the expression hellfire refers to such wars that would create the impression of hell on earth. So if we stop here and ponder over, it gets clear that the global denomination of materialism will not last. The downfall of materialistic powers will begin with growing mutual enmities culminating in horrendous catastrophic events. And you have just uh, listened to this uh, powerful message in the uh, poem also. Allah again warns in Surat Bani Israel, there is not a township, but we shall destroy it before the day of resurrection and punish it with a severe punishment. That is written down in the book, chapter 17, verse 59. This means that a terrible chastisement shall descend upon the world in the latter days. Dear brother and sisters, this is not a message meant to incite fear but it rather a call to awareness and preparedness. As the coming of the chastisement during the peak of the Christianity's mischief is proven from Holy Quran, similarly the coming of Prophet Messiah is also proven from the Holy Quran. It is written in the Holy Quran that Allah the Exalted says that when he decides to punish people, he permits their hearts to become filled with sinfulness and um, immorality, and as a result, they exceed all limits of indulgence in their carnal desires and shamelessness. It is obvious that these days, all the evils have reached a climax, thereby inviting chastisement, which require the simultaneous presence of messengers of Allah. You name any evil. It's spreading every country, you know, they are changing the constitution by referendum and other days. All the evils now no present in this age, this, in the latter days. Allah says in the Holy Quran, وَمَا كُنَّ مُوَزِّبِينَ حَتَّى نَبْعَسَ رَسُولًا We never punish until we have sent a messenger. Surah Bani Israel, verse 16. In accordance with his practice, God Almighty fulfilled his promise and sent him a messenger in person of Hazrat Mirza Ghulam Muhammad for our age. Allah the Exalted appointed him as the promised Messiah and Imam Mahdi of this age in accordance with the prophecies of the master of his master and guide, the Holy Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, the chosen one. Messiah Alayhi repeatedly cautioned the world about God's wrath and worldwide tribulation if they would deny Allah's messenger and continue to sin. On 27th of February 1905, he published a warning in the review of her religion and I quote, these are the days of great distress and the wrath of God has been kindled in the heavens. This is not the time when you can be saved by mere words of mouth and boasting of the tongue. Let such transformation be wrought within you. Let such a transformation be wrought within you and let your footsteps fall in such a path that your gracious and com compassionate master may be pleased with you. Make your corner of solitude a place for the remembrance of God. Make your corner of solitude <clears throat> a place for the remembrance of God. Remove the rust of impurities from your hearts and shun rancor, niggardliness, and abuse before the time should come which would make you mad. Make yourself like a madman with untiring and restless prayers." End quote. The word ignored these warnings and soon after, it was hit with plague, famines, wars, epidemics, earthquakes. There is still time to save oneself from these havocs by believing in the warner of the latter days. 
that is Hazrat Mirza Ghulam Ahmad Salam, and repenting before Allah the Almighty and abandoning the corrupt practices. The promised Messiah Salam, states, <coughs> O Europe, you are not safe, O Asia, neither you are secure. And O the dwellers of islands, no artificial guard will come to your aid. I see the cities falling, habitation in ruin, that one and unique God